Well, uh, this was unexpected. <laughs> I didn't when I when I made my last video and I mentioned that we were kind of due for a fade channel. I didn't necessarily think um, that we would just kind of have one drop out of nowhere, and then I, that's exactly what happened. Um, I don't know if I like missed the announcement just because I'd been like preoccupied with stuff. If you guys didn't see the community update uh, in in the community tab. I did sign on for a new job, so I've had a lot of that stuff going on this week, like finalizing that and then giving notice and all kinds of stuff. Um, but I don't think we had any foresight into this. This all seems very new. Uh, <laughs> and, I mean, I'm excited. I'm happy. I think we got, um, we got one in February. I think we got one in April, and now we're getting one in June. So we're, like, getting a Fate Channel every other month now, which is awesome. Um, at least that's the current trend. We'll probably get one in August as well uh, for the new Choose Your Legends heroes that we're going to be having, the Brave Batch that's coming up then. Um, but we did get a, kind of like a, a little mini 12-minute update, so I'm just going to run through that, get you guys' thoughts on it in comments, of course. That's always the play here uh, that we try to achieve. Um, but I'm just kind of kind of break this down for you if you, if you missed it or uh, I don't know if you, you should probably watch the whole thing, honestly, but I'll, I'll do my best to kind of clarify. So, first thing up, Fade Channel, June 6, 2019, 11.29 p.m. Eastern Time. That's exactly when it happened. Uh, the first big announcement that we had was actually the concert hall. You can see on the, the little board there, there's three things. Um, so, not a huge update, but the first one we did get was the concert hall. And this is going to be part of the Ether Resort uh, family of facilities <laughs> that we have going on there. Um, it is going to use Affinity, and what it basically does is it allows you to purchase with Affinity um, different Fire Emblem tracks uh, that can be played either in Ether Resort or uh, a couple different menu screens uh, that exist on the game, which I think is great. Um, one of the things that Fire Emblem Heroes hasn't necessarily done, unless you include, like, tap battle modes, uh, is really emphasizing the music of Fire Emblem, which, honestly, is one of the best parts of Fire Emblem. Uh, music is, is a big one. I think I... I actually... I got the... I don't have it here. But I got the, uh, the 25... This guy. This guy right here. I actually... I bought this. Because the music is that good. Um, so I got the premium range in case anybody was wondering. So, I mean, the music is always something that's really fantastic in Fire Emblem. I feel like Heroes hasn't necessarily keyed into that. The affinity cost is pretty high. I think it's like 180 affinity per song. And it seems like there's at least 10 tracks or something crazy like that. Um, so you may have to pick and choose at first. Um, but I deeply regret spending all my affinity just to get extra accessories for the hot spring. <laughs> I never go to. I do not regret it getting the uh, the stuffed animals, the plushies for the inn, though. That was totally well worth. Um, so next up, after that kind of fun little update, we got some really strong quality of life updates for the Ether Raids. Um, this is basically going to give you a menu to have uh, an offense team and then for setup teams. I think you may be able to kind of interchange that. Um, but essentially it allows you to preset some of your map modes and then just switch into them uh, for ether raids. And one of the really cool things is the setup. So you can, you can, uh, you can tag a setup that you have to a particular season as uh, demonstrated by the menu on the screen there. Um, so you can just kind of switch in between. Uh, and it should automatically switch, yeah, automatically change based on the season. Um, so you don't even have to go in and manly, manually swap it, which is brilliant, honestly. Um, that's one of those quality of life things that I feel like was kind of missing from Ether Raids, uh, just because it did change pretty frequently. Um, obviously, it's uh, stuff like that does happen with Arena. Uh, you get a new bonus set, a set, new set of bonus heroes, rather, uh, for each Arena run that happens. Um, except they usually double up every two runs. Um, Ether rates didn't really differ uh, in terms of volatility in that matter. So 
since it was a little more predictable, I felt like we were kind of wasting time <laughs> just kind of like flopping back and forth with that. So this is really, really nice. Um, again, I'm trying to take Ether Raids more seriously, trying to get more Dragonflower stuff like that. Um, so modes like this, little quality of life adjustments, I'm, I'm a big fan of. Um, genuinely pretty happy about that. And then, of course, you've got the, uh, the, the Switch Seasons mode for the, um, the defense maps and the offense maps and things like that. That's really cool. I like that they did that. Um, some quickie updates that we got that uh, people are probably pretty excited about is uh, the Hero Merit. Hero Merit is up, and I know that that's something people were definitely talking about uh, within recent talks anyway. And now I have to rewrite all of the fake cast notes because <laughs> this popped up out of nowhere. Great. Uh, just finished this about a half hour ago. Um, either way, uh, Hero Merit is increasing, so now we have a maximum 6,000 feathers, or uh, 6,000 Hero Merit, rather, getting an extra 1,000 feathers uh, over the 5k that we were looking at. So overall, uh, not, not a huge thing. You're going to be looking at an extra 1,000 feathers per per hero that you've already maxed, I guess, technically. Um, and while I do appreciate that they made this adjustment, I'm still waiting for bigger friends list uh, as as they expand onto game modes, and we'll touch on this last one here, uh, which kind of corresponds with friend lists, sort of. Um, I feel like the friend list definitely needs an update. I feel like we should have more than 100 friends, if possible. Um, pretty big game, a lot of people play it. I feel like we could at least use 150. Uh, but the Hero Merit increase is definitely good. Um, and it, it, yeah, I think more than anything, it kind of demonstrates that IS is aware of things that need to be bumped up. Um, so Friendless probably coming by the end of the year, I'm hoping. Um, <laughs> not gonna hold my breath, but I'm hoping. Um, and then we got this, this weekly revival summoning events. Now this, this pertains to any heroes that were not uh, your book two or earlier, I think. Um, so basically the ones that got mm, just absolutely nerfed from the summoning pool uh, a couple months back. These guys are going to be available for 20 weeks <laughs> with a new set of featured heroes every week. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's only like 56 weeks in a year. And we're kind of like halfway through it. <laughs> so this is pretty much going to branch through the rest of the year. Um, probably into like late October, early November, probably about the time the book three ends, honestly, and we start looking forward to book four. Um, so this might be, this might actually take us through the end of book three. Um, those time frames kind of match up pretty, pretty decently. So first week we've got, uh, well, actually, no, I'm not going to go through all these. That's why I screen capped and <laughs> we get a look at it. Um, but if you're missing any of the uh, the earlier generation heroes, um, this is for you, I guess. And I everybody has Takumi. I'm, he's there. That's kind of cool. Um, the fourth week banner stands out to me as pretty darn great, uh, as does the fifth week. The ninth wink, for sure. Uh, Delthea and Alm both together. That's pretty awesome. Tenth week has Ira. That's definitely a good pick. Um, seventh week is pretty pretty weak, honestly, unless you're looking for Hinoka. Um, but the the real stuff starts to pick up on the eleventh week on. Uh, we're gonna be looking at uh, a week <laughs> with Dorcas and Mia. Oh my goodness, they're in a banner. Um, this 13th week, I think, I don't know why anybody's after Luke, but hey, he's down there if you're, if you're interested. Um, the 14th week, the one that I am genuinely pretty darn interested in, uh, is going to have Saber, and then week 20 is also going to have Elise, and those are two units that I have been trying to pull in this freaking game since start. Uh, so I genuinely am very excited. Obviously, Saber came a little bit later, but at least I've des de desperately been trying to get that Troubadour uh, for a little while now. Um, so if you're missing any of these units, you might be able to complete uh, your, your catalog or what have you, or maybe you're just looking for extra fodder. These might definitely be of interest to you. Um, and uh, the rates are actually going to be up to a four star, I believe it is. Um, so slightly increased rates, not quite Hero Fest rates, but still pretty high. 
uh, comparably. We're, we're kind of almost doubling, I think, for the most part. And then we got probably what I think would be the biggest batch of news, uh, which is uh, Rooker. I think it's called Rooker Sieges. Um, I think it's a, a U sound, Rooker. Um, Rooker Sieges basically looks like a raid mode brought to Heroes. So you're going to have a team, and they're going to be able to take on uh, this big, giant, Dynamax... Esque. I'm using that phrase now because the Sword and Shield trailer for Pokemon, uh, or the Direct, rather. We're, we're taking on this kind of inflated super shadow hero, <laughs> I guess, in kind of like a raid-esque type mode. Uh, but you can see there from, from the screen cap, it kind of looks a little bit uh, like the, um, the game mode that we currently have, which is... Um, uh, domains. So I I don't necessarily know uh, if it's going to be very cooperative. They kind of alluded to the fact that you'd have uh, friends who were on the same raiding team joining in at the very end for like a finishing blow esque type situation. Um, and then of course there's this mechanic that's going on inside this particular mode where you uh, take out other additional enemies that kind of spawn on the map that boost the damage that you can do uh, to kind of take out this massive HP barrier that this Shadow Hero has. Um, Fade did not quite clear it, for the record. Uh, but something I thought was interesting is uh, we do have the pair-up ability present um, from this Fade channel. So the pair-up ability seems like it's going to be able to interact with this particular mode. Um, and again, you know, it, it, it is pretty similar to the uh, the Grand Conquest, the domains, I call it, the, the Grand Conquest mode that we have every month. I think this is probably going to be another one of those. Um, you are going to be able to pre-register similar to the Grand Conquest as well. Uh, so I'm assuming it's basically going to be uh, kind of like a weekend special like that is just with this. Um, this particular game mode seems pretty fun. Like, I'm I'm genuinely pretty curious about this. I think it's at least something different that they brought uh, that, that could be slightly more challenging. You can always choose the, uh, the difficulty mode down there, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Um, nothing really changes with that. Um, but the Shadow Heroes that we're going to see, it's almost kind of like a blending of um, Grand Conquest and Tap Battle. Almost, kind of. Um, but this seems really, really cool. I, I don't know why I'm excited about this. I, <laughs> I couldn't really explain to you why I'm excited, um, but I genuinely am. And I, I don't know, it just, it just seems like something that's kind of new and interesting that uh, we haven't had in the game before, but now we do. Um, and it's also worth noting that when this game mode starts, we're getting a special login bonus of 20 orbs. So, uh, very, very different compared to the previous login bonuses that we have had. Uh, we used to, back when the game first launched, like on days 1 through 10, uh, you know, like the very, very early days, back when Takumi was good, uh, <laughs> we used to get just random 20 orb drops for logins uh, every now and then. Um, the, the compensation orbs were, were much more plentiful <laughs> back then as well. And so this is kind of, this almost feels like a return to that to some extent because I don't know the last time we've had just a random login bonus like that um, just up front and that hasn't been broken out into like a daily type thing. So this is really cool. I'm excited about that. Um, I, again, I have kind of, I've kind of been hoping that IS would learn from Psy Games during the the Fade Regalia crossover. Maybe they would get some insight onto how mobile games would run because obviously it's a very different platform compared to uh, the, the typical games that intelligent systems might put out. But I think they're learning from Daddy Psy Games and that makes me very happy. So um, this just kind of helps reinforce that concept for me. I, I can't really explain it beyond that. I just, I feel like there's good things coming in the game. I'm very excited about that. And uh, this game mode might not be for everybody. I'm definitely interested to at least check it out for the most part. Um, 
so yeah, that's that's it. That's me mostly rambling after midnight. Um, <laughs> after having just done a bunch of other desk work. Uh, but I definitely wanted to get this out to you guys because I am curious as to what you are thinking about this random Faye channel that we just had dropped in our laps. Ah, Faye. Why do you do this? Um, worth noting, we're also going to have a new Heroes trailer out uh, at some point this weekend, probably, more than likely. Because um, it drops on the 10th, and it's the 7th, so maybe even tomorrow night, I don't know. Either way, um, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about this Fade channel? Did anything particularly grab you? Uh, I'm personally really excited about the, the Rooker Siege, and then also the uh, music that we're getting from Ether, Ether Resort. Well, they're pretty sweet. Um, everything else is just kind of icing on the cake. IS, please increase our friend list. Please. <laughs> we have friend we have friend game modes now. We need this. Anyway, uh, thank you guys again for watching. Comments down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. to do a lot of Fire Emblem Heroes content. And I'll also be kind of bringing some daily-ish recaps of E3 for Nintendo if the content's kind of there. Mention that in the community tab as well. Anyway, I'm done rambling. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.